Are we on? Talk to me, Sam. Are we on? Yes. Are we on? I don't know. Well, look, see the red light. Ah, okay. We're on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Beer Sweden TV. We decided, because we, um, we've got it's quite... sunny. Well, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. We decided that um, we'd carry on uh, and have another episode. And, and after this uh, rather interesting... We've still got some in the glass, actually. Uh, albeit rather cloudy, and you did bring up a good point while uh, we had some downtime, so I will explain that um, obviously in bottle condition beers it is actually always a good idea to store them upright of course and to be rather careful with them because a lot of the throw, a lot of the sediment is actually at the bottom of the bottle. We we actually obviously had to get over here and we did knock it about a little bit on the journey over there. May I interject? Because that's just the same with a good bottle of red wine. You have yes. to make sure you don't throw what, the like, sediment. Like that, you South Atlantic. To, and yeah, well, not like South Atlantic. I mean, at, at the bottom of the Atlantic, there's a lot of sediment. Yeah, there we is know that. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, it's just the same principle. Exactly the same principle. So you have to give a bit of love, treat it carefully, yeah. be respectful with it. Yeah. Just the same with wine and beer. Fair yeah. enough, fair yeah. juice. And fair don't, I'll give you that. And don't let your wife keep picking it up and looking at the label on no, the back. No, absolutely. Or yeah. picking it up full stop, really. Yeah. Um, fact, don't tell her you're drinking it. Exactly. That's always the best way. Mm. Um, so, um, but so that it is very cloudy, this beer, and that's the reason why, uh, in fairness, uh, it, it would obviously be a little bit clearer if it was uh, if we hadn't shaken it about on the way over here. So, uh, But fair juice, um, a very good beer. I didn't rate the beer, actually, Trev, did I? You still haven't said what it is, because if somebody's watching oh. this a day after... Oh yeah, of course. This is Torshammer. Hang on, I've still got the, the bottle somewhere. Here. Torshammer from uh, Ergir uh, Bruggeri in Norway. You got that, Trev? Great. Um, I'm going to rate it. What do you think? Out of five? Three and a half. Three and a half. Like father, like son, you'd have said exactly the same thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking three and a half. Maybe three and a half leading towards a four. Leaning towards a four, maybe. No. Three and I thought three leaning towards three and a half, and I've given it top I, marks. I'm going three and a half. Right, anyway, that's that one out of the way. But what I wanted to do... Now we have the wine. No, what I wanted to do, put that away. What I wanted to do was um, explain a little bit more about you. This is my father, by the way, Brian Pacman. This is my son, Darren. Did okay. you say that in the first episode? Did you even introduce him? You didn't, did you? No, I didn't, no. no I just said he was my father. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Don't well, think? I'm older than him. Yeah, he is, just by about a, three weeks. Just a bit. Yeah. So, um, Thanks, Trev. <laughs> uh, my father, I have to say, I have to say, stop it, you two. Uh, I have to say. I'm that, just pleased uh, somebody is here nearer my age, mate. <laughs> I have to say that, uh, and I don't want to get all teary eyed here. Uh, really, I don't. Um, we've only got 10 minutes. We've only got 10 minutes. Uh, but really, the reason I started drinking beer was because of you. <laughs> by no, Swedish standards, yeah. that does sound good. No, that's right. No, it doesn't sound good by English standards, that's why I said it. Uh, no, I actually spent my childhood, thanks to you, uh, I had a wonderful childhood, no, 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 I had a wonderful childhood, I spent a lot of it outside pubs, um, I'm an expert in cub par uh, pub car parks all over the southeast of England, um, I would say that you are, is it fair to say you are a traditional uh, pub man? Well, yes. Good. <laughs> Care to elaborate? No. Okay. It's a very simple principle. I yes. like pubs. Yeah, you like pubs. Yeah. And of course, but uh, in recent years, is it fair to say that since you moved to France, oh. uh, you become more of a wine sort of... Well, no, I'm, uh, we go to bars here rather than, or cafes and that type of thing, rather than, we don't have any pubs in the Lot et Garonne. Yeah. There's no pubs per se. I, just I, I seem to remember there is one in MA called Le Poup. But it really was a coffee bar. Okay. Yeah. It was a pretend pub. Mm. You know, it was a coffee bar with some beer in it. Mm. Okay. But you drink more wine now than you do beer. Do you miss beer? Yes. Mm. Okay. And you miss pubs? Uh, British pubs? Not now. No. I think the problem is when I went back to England after spending time in France, the, the actual quantity mm. of drinking pints, I mean, I used to drink maybe six pints plus a night. That would explain uh, a lot. Um, now I couldn't drink that quantity at all. No. It's just quantity factor. Mm. I mean, well, I enjoy drinking it. But that, well, that's very typical of British pubs, isn't it? Or British drinking, style of drinking. A session, low, mid ABV yeah, beers. exactly. Uh, 3.8, something like 3 .8, that. 3.8, 4% yeah. tops, yeah. something like oh, that. Oh, 4% tops, yeah. for yeah. session. Yeah, exactly. But listen, um, I thought before you went back to France and you started, you know, whining out again, 
Um, I'm, I'm not whining. No, you're not whining. No, no, but I mean, before you know, go back to the grape. I thought I'd give you the opportunity to taste what a lot of people recognise as well. Certainly, one of the most largest or most popular brands here in the Sustainable in Sweden. Um, in terms of sales, this is right up there. Um, so I did want to give you the opportunity to to, to drink this um, extremely um, attractive looking uh, can of beer. Uh, here it is. Uh, is it beer or lager? Uh, See, this is this is a very big problem for me. Have you got that, Trev? In in continental Europe. Yeah. You know, lager. Beer yeah. to me yeah. is a dark. Yes. Exactly. Ale. And there is some confusion over that. Uh, if I if I because this is a big topic, we can't do it in terms. But if I just basically say beer is everything, that's the umbrella term for everything. So that's a okay. generic term. Yes, yeah, a generic. That's everything. Everything yeah. we've drunk here today. And I'm we're very drink glad it later you on. agree with me because I can't spell it. No, exactly. What well, generic? Yeah. A geriatric. Um, is the umbrella term. Okay. Umbrella term. Ales on one side, lagers on the other one. Okay, yeah. so this is a lager. This is a lager. Okay, so, so it's, it's not a beer at all. So it's basically a bottom what? fermenting yeast, so it settles at the bottom of the. Yeah, of but the I, I agree with your dead. Yeah. Okay. For well, me, beer is. is now you're ganging up on me. Right. But listen, uh, this uh, Festival Shoe Commod 4, uh, recognised actually, and I was just Sorry reading the back me. label of the thing. That's my piece of cheese. Oof. I saved that. Listen. Um, this oh. is bloody tight. Excuse me. We haven't got a very big budget here at Beer Sweden. Right. Um, anyway, listen. Uh, this actually won the gold medal in the 2005 um, uh, unofficial World um, Beer World Cup. Okay, so this has got a pedigree to so it. So it plays football, of, does it? Play, <laughs> you want to play football when you drink it. As you can see, very classy can. Did you hear the sound of that? It's not like a cork coming out of a wine bottle, is it? That's a shame, isn't it? Beautiful. Let me pour this up for you. Prepare to be amazed. I don't want to. I don't want to prejudice this at all. Actually, I'm going to give it a nice little bit of air, so you get a nice. Do you know when that came out of that can? I've seen that before. Don't <laughs> swear or be rude on Beer Sweden television. Uh, here we go. Now look at it straight away. What can you see? Stockholm. Yeah. Let's turn that around. Oh. What can you see in terms of the beer? Oh, uh, sorry. Well, it's very pale. Yes. And there's bubbles. Correct. Head. Not right now, thank you. There's no chance between you two, is there? <laughs> uh, try and have a clean episode, people, here. Uh, well, what do you think of the head of the beer? Well, it doesn't look too good to me. Basically. It looks quite, you know, this bleached, sort yeah, of, I mean, this bleached I think um, bubbly. It looks, it looks um, artificial. Yeah, totally artificial. I mean, this is a pretty common telltale sign, people. If you see this bleached, very tight bubbles, um, then you, it's, it's pretty, pretty... You have to shake it round. Like pretty certain. Give it a whirl. Got to give it a whirl. Well, uh, pretty, 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 um, I've got a pretty good it. sign. Hang on a minute. It's a pretty good sign that you're going to get something that's pretty industrial. Yeah, um, yeah. It looks industrial, doesn't it? In fairness. Yeah. Have you given I, it a whirl? I've, I've whirled it. Give it a smell. You didn't give him a proper glass for smell? whirling. No, yeah, I, I this know. is not a whirly glass, what is it? it? What can you smell? Not a lot. No. Exactly. exactly. Not a lot. In fact, I can't really smell anything. No. I'm getting some very weak vegetable notes. You know, like if you boil broccoli and the water that's left, you know, when you boil broccoli? You've never boiled broccoli in your life. I have. I do it all the time. I eat, I eat all my greens, Dad. You can all come out with a load of broccoli. Let I me eat all my greens. <laughs> anyway, the water, it's a load of broccoli. <laughs> the water in the broccoli, people, that's what it is. Water, uh, broccoli, sweet corn, root vegetables, a little bit of that. Um, I'm not I'm, getting a lot else. Don't you like this? Drink it. What? All of it? No, just a little sip. That's all you need. What are you getting? Apart from convulsions. Wind. <laughs> and there we go. Um, <laughs> I don't think we need to say any more. Uh, in terms of marks, uh, out of five, one. one being awful, awful, never ever want to drink it again, wouldn't even put it in my car. One. Five being... Um, one. One. Uh, and I will go for one and a half, just because it's Swedish and no, we live here. No, I'll, I'll tell you why I've given it one. Why? Because it's in the glass. Okay. Okay. And, and otherwise, if it hadn't been, if it's, and it's still cold. been in the can, and it's cold. it would have been zero. Okay. All right, well, there we go. Um, I think, um, so you basically don't like Swedish beer? Okay. Wine's best. <laughs> Oh, you can't let him finish anyway, on that. No, well, no, obviously I can because my father, and this will be the last episode that you're actually being featured on. Um, <laughs> it uh, sounds. It's disowning. Is this an now? epitaph? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, nice to have you on the show. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah. there will be a next time. And, and listen. Maybe down in France, if you'll invite Are us. Are we? Are sweet, Trevor and I? Oh. Yeah. And now that we haven't got time, look, because the thing's going. You've got to say beers and cheers. Oh, right. Or cheers and beers. No, but can we finish on something it's better? Not time on, maybe next time. Cheers. Cheers. cheers and beers. And beers. Just relax, take it easy. You're still young.
that's your